Hello and welcome to episode 55 of On the Dawn Trail. This is my live Final Fantasy XIV MSQ guide and playthrough. We're just about to finish Am Arang here in Shadowbringers. So Reen, we got the whole family here. What are we doing next? A fresh start. Oh boy, uh, am I ready for this? I honestly don't know how to repay you for all you've done, but I promise to do whatever I can to help. Mm. Are you certain you're up to fighting so soon? I can't imagine the power of the Oracle is something one learns to wield in the space of a few hours. Maybe not, but the presence of the Light Wardens is unmistakable to me now. In fact, I sense one here in Amarang, to the west. I think it might be hiding underground. Underground? Underground? It's as we suspected. We thought it prudent to take a brief survey of the area prior to your arrival. To the west, we found the remains of a site known as Malika's Well. If I recall correctly, the well has, was built in remembrance of one of the ancient kings in the Vatharang to serve as a source of respite from the desert heat. Interesting. It fell into disuse after the flood, whereupon the miners of Amarang thought to turn part of it into an excavation site. <clears throat> Judging by its size, the underground waterways are no doubt extensive. The perfect hiding place for a warden. Reen, are you certain you can track it down? Leave it to me. Then it's settled. We make from Malika's well. So easy, man. Malika's well, eh? Malika's well? Something like that. Close enough. Alright, boys. On it. Don't you dare attack me. How dare you? Leave me alone, bro. How convenient. It's right here. Well, that's quite lovely. The southern hills of Amber. Oh. <clears throat> what the? Uh oh. Okay, good. Whew. This is certainly a well. Certainly looks scary down there. I don't know about this, guys. Yubby. <clears throat> it's here. I can taste its ether in the wind. And we finally found our mark. Let's put an end to this, Furious and return the night sky to Amarang. Mm -hmm. Malika's Well, now accessible. Here it is, look at that. Ready for the dungeon, baby. Too easy. Before I do that though, I actually want to do all these little uh, other quests here. If I finish these ether current quests, that means right when I finish the dungeon, I'll be able to fly. And that would be phenomenal. So, before we do the duty support, let's go walk all the way over here, ye. Yeah? I'm so slow. And do these ether current quests. Way down here in what's this place called? New Nuvi's Leavings. Oh, goodness graciousness. If I could just double my chocobo mount speed, that would be phenomenal. You don't know. Follow. Peace. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so this quest I'm on, I am looking to get some ore or something for the one Mikote miner that happened to hang out in Twine. He says he's on to something. Do I believe him? I mean, yes. Alright, buddy. Better find some giant gem. Noom. Oh, I missed that guy. <clears throat> oh, great. He got himself in trouble. Of course. Keysat. I'm here, buddy. You're not. A newbie mole. Spine stream. Oh. 
Oh, this guy's super strong. What the heck, bro? You die already? I guess it because I don't have my chocobo out. I have my chocobo. Little cringe corner. Make easy pickings out of these dudes. Any quest and finish? Yep. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Key sat. I'm glad it's over. How am I supposed to concentrate on my work with all these creatures disturbing me? You certainly know how to handle yourself, though. That fiend never stood a chance. But I tried to think what would have happened if he hadn't shown up. Hopefully, nothing else will try to get between me and my dream. Many thanks, my friend. Complito! Too easy. Alright. Good luck with your dream. I ain't helping you anymore. I just wanted the ether current. Next! Where in the heck? Okay. That is a place I haven't been to. Scab... Scabin... <laughs> <laughs> I saw Assemble, my brain immediately thought Avengers. I was gonna say Scavengers Assemble. I get that that's the play on words, but it's pronounced Scavengers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can read. Scavengers Assemble. And I'm looking for Scavengers. I don't know, don't remember what this quest was about. What are we doing here? Oh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one, I said. Scavengers, the quick-witted scavenger is concerned for his friend's safety. Search for scavengers. Oh, right, 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 right. The scavenger was the, uh, the mouse guy. And he said his friends died and have to go get their bodies. What the heck? Evil weapon. What in tarnation? Found you. <clears throat> hey, can I get off this piece? Let me get my chocobo out here. All right, let's do this. It's not under attack now! No, please! Too easy, man. Man, too easy. Some are days and some are those. Oh, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Wrecked. Oh, more. One of these guys, too. Goblins, are they? No, kobolds. That's what they are. <clears throat> I am alive? Can it be true? But it is too early to celebrate. The youngest of our group is still missing. Please, you must find him. I will wait for you outside the ruins in case you need help carrying whatever is left of the poor boy. That's great. Not them youngins. Ew. He's got like six eyes. Well, freaky looking. The floating sword? I don't know about that one, Chief. Where the heck are you? Oh, he's under attack too. Fledgling scavenger. Well, this here coyote, gaunt coyote, you know, it's hungry. Yeah, my way, tree. I can't see. Got him. Okay, let me turn in the quest and be done. Nope. Dang it. <clears throat> Just want to get in the friggin' dungeon, man. Yeah, does that count as a near-death experience? I cannot wait to tell my friends. But first, we should make a hasty retreat, yes? Okay, perfect. Finished. Give me my ether current. Hello. I cannot thank you enough for saving us, but how did you know we were here? <laughs> Hmm. Running away turned out to be the best choice. Not only did he escape, but he sent for help, too. If he had tried to rescue us himself, we would probably all be dead by now. Better to run and scavenge another day, yes? I must remember to thank him. Okay. Ooh. All right, boys. Now, it's time. Duty support? Malak as well. Eto, Alfino, Reen, Thancred. Definitely want Reen. Because that is a uh, no, no, no. Sorry, Alpino. We're taking Uyanjay. Not yet sealed. Yes, Malika's well. This is the canonical group, the two dads and Reen. Happy family. We'll do it. Which one is this? Let's see if I remember. Ooh. Norvret, Malika's well. Hey, 
those evil things. We got this, friends. <clears throat> Come now. Can you sense the warden, Reed? Yes. I think it's further underground. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get 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 back in the groove here. In other words, every time I enter into a dungeon, I gotta get my bearings again. And then make the difficult decision of whether to pull more or just deal with the fact of these tiny, tiny mob pulls. Good job, friends. You're doing great, you're doing great. You're doing really well. Alright, I'll pull these guys away. This one doesn't seem as uh, atmospheric as uh, Itana Ravel. He must have to go deeper. I'll show you. Good job, Reen. Get it. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Out of practice. Not putting on my songs. We're really bad. Oops. Oh, someone just wrecked that royal blade bear. Holy schmoly. There we go. Now we got some music. Very important, you know. <laughs> Too early. Too soon. Let's go. Hello? Well, lizard. <clears throat> well, lizard indeed. That guy. Hey there, Royal Cupbearer. Hello there, fellow kids. Thank you, Four for four. Good job, Mr. Tank. Oh no! Ooh, laggy. These guys are somewhat low, or we have two left, then I'll pull the rest of them. Right about now. Earth Shatter! These armadillo looking fools. Well, armadillo! Brought the cavalry. Take them down. Take them downtown. I wish there was a DPS meter. I actually uh wonder, like, comparatively, how much Reen does compared to Yishtola, especially. I'll show you. I mean, come on, there's no there's no way she keeps up. friends almost to the boss I can almost sense him ah. Yush. spooky we talked about taluses there's some uh, working taluses down here what the heck what do you suppose we'll find down there find out. The Jade Pants. It's a... A snack. Nope. A greater armadillo. Shall we get this over and done with? Yes. No. Yeah. I think the, the music's a bit too subdued in this dungeon. I, I need some, some jams, you know? Stone Flail? Okay. Tank Buster. Easy. I'll show you. And it drops some things. 
dodge. Okay. The wheezy, the wheezy. Next is head toss. Everyone gather up. Looks like we're right here. Stack marker. And drop some more. Right round. Um. Okay, right round is just a. Oh, okay. Why did? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, I'm confusion. What else we got here? Do we pick up the ads? What are we doing here, Thankrid? Fine, get AOM down. No problem. Stone flail. There we go. Drop some things, dodge. Okay. I shall protect you. Thank you, RNJ. I appreciate that. Free up the dots. Re up the song. Stack up. Okay, move out the way. Right round. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, flail smash. Don't go all the way to the edge. Pause. He does that. Troubadour and Flail Smash, I guess. That's what I'll do. That one hurts. Just, just a smidge. Let's kill the ads. I'm not entirely sure what they do, but I don't like that they're here. Bust. He's going bust! Ah! Oh man, let my dots fall off. What again for switching targets? Disgusting. Next is stack marker. Yep. On Uyongje. Get out the way. Right round, around that thing. Then the proximity. This is fine. Oh, I actually said I was going to do my trigger, which I didn't. I apologize, team. Bad support here. We got the dots. Why not? Why not, you know? Now that my dots are re-upped, when I switch back to him, they won't have fallen off. See? Pretty basic boss. Basic boss, boy. Stack marker next. Everyone get to the middle. You already know. Hello? Here it is, just as I said. Get out of the way. Oh, sheesh. Troubadour, this time for sure. And get inside. Keep your guard up. Too easy. That took forever though. Jeez. Beefy Armadillo. Phew. Glad that's over with. The Jade Paths. Alright. Moving on. Let's find Malika's Gift is our next stop. Ugh. Right. Whatever that is. Custard! Oh, brother! Can I pull more? Cannot. Okay. Stuck with just these guys. Put on the custard. Die joke. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, the music's just it's just a little, a little too subdued. I don't like it. I need this, some type of driving beat in the back. Keep things, uh, keep things going. Oh, it's kind of boring, I don't know why. Oh, that guy got murked. Self-destruct, huh? Come on, come on. Come on. 
Come on! Ooh, outside again. This blasted light. We need to climb down somehow. Oh, there has to be a path somewhere. Close enough to hit those guys? Well, hold it. Oh, who invited that dude? Green, the cartridges. <laughs> We're in the middle of battle here, buddy. Come on now. Come here. the single target once there's only two left. Get all my procs. Take the treasure chest because why not? Good night, Royal Cupbearer. I hope you have a pleasant sound sleep. Come friends! Back into the darkness. With any luck, this tunnel will lead down. Who we are? Who we are? Who we attacking here? The world custard? Yeah. Bo Shizzly. Oops. Got a song on. Again, my guy. I am. <clears throat> Switch to single. Are we on the custard or the fee bad? Up on the be bad. Yeah, be bad. Come on. You underestimate me. I don't, Reen. But I cannot speak for the fee bad. Come on. Holy schmoly! Treasure chest! Slaying? Come on, man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the turquoise currents. Oh. Ooh, oh, it's a golem. It's a Talos. Amphibious Talos. It's got buckets on his hands. This certainly isn't what I was expecting. Telling me. Alright, what we got here? Kind of debauchery. Good tank. Face away. A face. Tank buster. Not my problem. Yeah, he's got buckets on his head. Oh, well, boy. Get around on that one, huh? What? Coronation? Okay. Come back here in the middle. Oh, we get pushed out. High pressure. Those spoilers he'll probably get behind him, yeah? And then he's probably gonna circle around, it seems like. Yep! There he goes! Shoot your goo, my dude! What the heck? I put that song on. Tank Buster again, that's it? Okay, alright, alright. So that is the, uh, the cycle. He does that. Then he's gonna do a big ol'... AOE. Point blank. Oh, double a face this time. You really don't like Bank right now. Yikes. You're doing, you're doing good, buddy. Keep it up. Do it for me. Next. There we go. There's the big one. Then we're going to have to go in after this. We're going to have four AOEs in random spots. You go in because he's going to push you out after. Probably I can we call it knockback me in that, but lazy. And you stand behind him as he spins around and shoots his goo. So easy. Get it! Oh! 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 Rinse and repeat. I do 
feel like these bosses are comparatively boring compared to the Kitana Ravel ones. I like that first boss in the Kitana Ravel, Ravel. Kitana Ravel, that's what it is. Ravel, not, not Ravel. Where you like, you have to watch what side of him is glowing and what side the totems are glowing to stand on that side of the room, otherwise you get sideswiped. And you also gotta make sure you don't let your songs fall off, that's not good. But yeah, this is, uh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Reem, what's up, girl? Girl? If I brought your Stola, your Stola could keep DPSing as we wait out here in the edges. Alas, I went with you. Bad choice on my end, isn't it? Bad choice. Now I know better. Shoot your Goo, my dude! There he goes! Not that we need it, but hurry on, Jay. I know you have, uh... Off global cooldown mobile heals. It's a little low, you could always pop some of those, you know. I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> Double the face. Yikes. Alright, almost dead. Not gonna lie, I don't remember the last boss, so. Hopefully. Ah. I like to live dangerously. Oh, jeez, I'm not gonna make it. Ooh! It was close. God, I'm soaked to the bone. Yikes. Shouldn't be saying that when that dude was shooting his goo. We're getting up. Oh, here we go. Now we're, we found all the, uh... What are they called? What are they called? I want to say nameless. Not nameless. Sin Eaters. Sin Eaters, that's what they are. Oh, jeez! Not, it's, it's not even nameless. In my head, I was thinking of uh, the Kingdom Hearts stuff. The, the no-bodies. The white ones. As opposed to the heartless. There we go. I know my games. I'll just stand here and spam my AoEs. <laughs> yep. Get it. Get it, Rion J. Hit him with them. Them AoEs. Oop. Come on. Come on, buddy. You underestimate me. I wish I could estimate you some more. Estimate you some more. Do more damage, please. How does that one still have so much health? What the hecky? Yush. Oosh. Come on. Oh, yikes. This place is corrupted. Looks like we're getting closer. We're nearly there. I can feel it. Indecency? I don't like none of that. I have a bad feeling about these boulders. Which one are we going on? This one? We're on this one. Choose one. Not, not the rebuild. Come on, come on, come on. At least take down one. Focus, focus, release. Perfect. Wonder if my dot will carry over. Let's see. Will it? Will it carry over? It will. Perfect. Yush, oosh. That's not too bad. Alright, let's choose this one, yeah? Choose this one, ye! Yeah. Oh, guess we're in the middle one, just kidding. I'd be happy to take down one. Oh my gosh. I don't have cooldowns. <laughs> Not strong enough! Come on! Four DP! There we go. Are we attacking that guy? Yes, we are. Acclaim. Critical acclaim. I kind of want to get this treasure coffer. Sorry, guys. Waiting for GCDs anyways. What do you acclaim? 
Good. Yush. Armies views. Is that what my ability's called? Huh. The whole time. Where the heck? I guess we're jumping down, huh? Oh, this is it. Wow, that's fast. What in the hecky? Light Warden. Storge. Storgy. Starg. Okay. Um, do I remember this? Not really. So, we learn on the fly. Good old Storg. There it is. I see it. Well done, Rain. Now, let's end this. Okay. Tank raid? Yep, good, good, good. Face him away. Like a good tank. Intestinal crank. This must be a raid wide. Should probably troubadour this. Next time I will. Good. I shall protect thee. Thank you, Iranje. Appreciate that. Heretic's fork. None duck with it. Oh, okay. Guess we're standing over here. Ah, cardinal beams, eh? Yes. Boo boo, eh? This braking wheel, stand aside, yeah? Yep. I know my markers. Braking wheel in, something fork, outs, or uh, cardinals. Yeah. Crystal nail, what is this? Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Heretic's fork, edges. Too easy. Sensor. Is this another raid wide? No, it's not. Heretic's fork? Okay. Oh, uh, okay, okay. He pulses it out to the different beam things here. So I think it's best if we go around, follow the. Which over here would be best. And then right here would be perfect. Oh. And make sure you have your freaking dots going. Too easy! Destino Crank, I remember you. Troubadour! Raid wide. I am number one support bard. Okay, okay, okay. You're doing another another one? Dang it. It's on cool. Crank. Cooldown's almost up. Let's go! Another one, three in a row? Dang, this guy's not having a good time, huh? Oh no, 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 please, please, please! Did I get it? Ah, oh, dang it. Crystal nail, okay, he's gonna drop the things. He's gonna drop the load. What we got? Breaking wheel inside. Oh, if they're all breaking wheels, it's gonna be so easy. Just stand under them. Stand under them, just walk around in a circle. That literally, it's, that's literally what's gonna be, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Muy difficult. Wait for it first. Just need to be patient. Focus. Release! This one next. Then this one. And that one over there. And then in the middle. Okay, looks like he does three. Oh, sorry, thank you. I don't want to be in your space. Probably does three cycles. Maybe this last cycle, it's a mixture between the two. Intestinal crank? Or is he going to do tank busters first? Nope. Crank. Troubadour's still down. Boom in now. Cannot help you. Bring, bring. Another one! I got Troubadour this time. And I let my song fall off. I'm sorry, I'm not singing for you people. That is my bad. Cooldowns, let's go! Drop the nails. 
Okay, there we go. Stand in the corners. Sensor, okay. We got. Okay, corner. Oh, it's no, it's the same thing. That's kind of lame. Not gonna lie. My turn. Hit him with that limit break, baby. Level up even. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hello, friends. You suck up all that ether. That light ether. You're mine. Oh, oh, I'm not feeling too good. Yikes, that's never happened before. Do it complete. Sounds like Ishtola was right. It's affecting me. Ugh. At last. We've taken the darkness. We've taken back the darkness. No? Friends? Not, no words to say? It seems that Reen was correct. Thank goodness we succeeded. That was a passing strange form for it. Are you at all injured? The bath daggers. Let's see. I get anything that whole time? Ooh, I got a vest. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Looking, looking kind of snazzy. Let's get out of here. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad those travelers made it all the way to Nabatha Reng. But when Urianje told me the Talos was in pieces and the trolley didn't look much better, I couldn't help wondering what in the hells had gone on. What indeed. At least the heart is in one piece. The rest is replaceable. Looking at this mess, though, it's a miracle they survived. You can say that again. What? What the? Are you seeing this? The sky. It's... It... At last, night has returned to Amareng. We'll save this broken world yet, Tesleen. 
You see if we don't. No doubt retreating in the wake of the Warden's demise. Back to Calusia, the last refuge of light. Home to our dear Lord Vorthry, who will no doubt do everything in his power to thwart us. As well he should, for defeat there would spell the end for both him and his heavenly host. There, the fate of this star shall be decided. Only one thing to do. Take him down! Alize, we did it. All your hard efforts were not in vain. We did it. We really did it. I only wish there were, more, there were time to visit the inn. We can but hope the return of night has granted the residents some shred of comfort. They thought the world beyond changing, but today, I think we proved them wrong. We will fix this broken land, Furious. Together. Yeah, boy! Oh, it feels so good to fly! Thank goodness. But alas, the adventure never stops. More than a hunch. Are you feeling alright, Furious? After you defeated the Light Warden, I could swear I saw its ether. Ooh. Uh, n never mind. I'm still getting used to my powers. It's probably nothing. I'm just relieved I was right about where the Warden was hiding. The last one is hiding in Calusia, isn't it? Can't feel it from here, believe it or not. But perhaps we should head back to the Crystarium first. We have a lot to tell the Exarch, and I think we could do all do with some rest. One step at a time, right? Uh oh. He sees it too, then. Oh no! They're on to me! Die, Job. I'm the Warrior of Light. Time to give the Exarch the good news. Let it be known that uh, I'm fulfilling my end of the bargain, saving the first. Not only a couple of my friends are here. Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of you? That's him. The others are with the Exarch. Before we join them, there is something I wish to confirm. Tell me, Reen. Have you noticed anything peculiar about Furious's appearance of late? Anything at all? Speak freely, he won't mind. Well, since Minfilia bequeathed her, her power to me, I've been able to see the light inside him. But I didn't think anything of it first. After we defeated the warden in Amarang, I realized something was wrong. You've absorbed its ether, Furious, and the light within you has grown monstrous. Then it is as I expected. Suspected. How are you feeling? Hmm. Oh, the cringe! That actually kind of scared me. Furious! Uh-oh. If not is done, this will only get worse. Reen, with the power of the Oracle, you have gained some measure of control over Light, have you not? Is there anything you can do for him? Extinguishing it is out of the question. Even at her strongest, Minfilia could only hold back the Light. I might be able to suppress it, but I don't know for how long. Then we have no choice but to rely on Uyan Jay and his secrets. If the next battle is to be the last, you may yet be able to play your part, but you will need all of your strength. I will discuss strategy with the others and see that everything is made ready for our departure. You are to return to your chambers and rest until then. Understood? Understood. I'm fine. Let me help. <laughs> yes, mother. <laughs> None of that cheek or will take you across my knee. <laughs> Yikes! Now... Off with you to the pendants. We will call for you when the time comes. I feel like I, as you know, the uh, 
the integral part of this operation could definitely be present for any sort of strategy meetings, but okay. No matter how tired I am, or wounded or weary. Fair enough, they, they think they can do it. Just tell me what to do. I am the perfect errand boy, as I've so generously shown. Manager of suites. <clears throat> Is everything all right, sir? You don't seem quite yourself. Perhaps a hot meal and a freshly made bed will improve matters. Your room is ready if you'd care to retire. Yes. Very good. If you should have need of anything, anything at all, pray do not hesitate to call. More than a hunch complete. Hang out with Ardbird again. Our shared room, apparently. So this is where you've been hiding. Why did you stay behind? Uh, I'll ask him why this. Why you stayed behind? And sometimes the dead would rather not be disturbed. But enough about me. What of armor rang? Philly is gone then. Which means the reason I must suffer this purgatory shall forever remain a mystery. Oh! Oh, super cringe! Oh! Uh oh. Oh, I'm living. Are you all right? just happened there, there was something Minfilia said to me not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone <clears throat> Minfilia said my time had not yet come that I still had a role to play not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. No. No, it couldn't be. There's only one hero in this room, and it is not me. I'm just a shadow, cursed to wander. Company? Okay. Oh. Forgive the intrusion, but Minfilia, that is, Reen, and the others were asking after you. Is everything all right? <laughs> that pain again! And did it pass? Thank goodness for that. I would not wish to see you suffer. Though I know only too well how much you have suffered on our behalf in recent days. Indeed, I have no right to impose upon you further. Nevertheless, I must ask one thing of you. 
that you survived this, no matter what. When the dust settles, you must return to your world, for the battles to come and the wars yet unwon. The final Light Warden is all that stands between us and victory. There is still much we must do to prepare, but for now, I will see if there is aught that may remedy the strange affliction which plagues you. I'll see it through. The end is finally in sight. When the Warden is dead, will your work finally be done? <clears throat> Yes, I believe it will. Once the tyranny of light is ended, the people of the Crystarium will be safe, and the future that must be shall come to pass. I'll not keep you from your rest any longer. Take as much time as you like. Thanks for the visit, though. It's quite nice. Oh, uh oh. No, this isn't right. I would need it would need to be later. After the liberation of Alamigo, perhaps. What the heck? Isn't that... What? Please tell me you're finished. We have to go. They'll be upon us any moment. Very well. Where to next then? Let's just worry about getting out of the city and pray the airship is still in one piece. Anywhere we go from here will be just more of the same. Oh. God! By the sound of that last one, I reckon the Knights Twelve must be the Knights Rubble now. Is there nothing else we can do? Do? Look around you. This is war. It's a sickness, and it's spread to every corner of Eorzea. The city-states are in disarray, and by all accounts the Far East faring no better. There'll be nothing left of us when this is over. This world is beyond saving. I never tire of that story, when the hero swoops in astride a white dragon to save the little girl. Ooh. I could die happy knowing someone like that was still around. I did that. Indeed, but not today. Not while our message remains undelivered. What the hecky? Have faith, my friend. We will find him. Oh, step is aboard. What a peculiar dream. Was that the past? No. We got business to do. Come on now. No time for lollygagging. Well, that was uh, interesting, yeah? Shrouded in darkness. Manager of Sweets, where do I go next? <clears throat> Return to Yulmore. Oh, that is a scary looking ball three. Ah, Master Cable. I trust you had a pleasant rest. 
While you were ensconced in your chamber, a message arrived for you from the Exarch. He bids you come to the Ocular at your earliest convenience. And, sir, wherever your duties may take you next, I shall pray for your safe return. May the night keep you. Oh, <laughs> Xenos! <laughs> Long time no see! <laughs> Dang! That's impressive. Uh, yeah, I definitely do not have a, uh, <laughs> a schedule I keep to when it comes to the streams. It's more whenever I, whenever I have the time, I can hop on. <laughs> That's super funny. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word, and I would be happy to escort you to the Arcula. Here we go. <clears throat> That's in time. Let's go. There you are. May I assume you've had your fill of rest? That is well. Now that we are all present, let us speak of our plan. There we go. Thus far, we have vanquished four Light Wardens, restoring Night to much of Norvrant. Only one remains, that of Calusia. And with Reen to guide us, I am certain we will find it. We're so close now. If we can just take care of this one last Warden, we'll rob the Sin Eaters of their final foothold and drive them out of Norvrant once and for all. It will be a new beginning for the first. A chance for the people to rebuild their world. In short, a prize worth fighting for. And in thus delivering the first from destruction, so too shall we unsow the seeds of the eighth umbral calamity. Do you hear? Your dreamed of rejoining is in jeopardy. Are you sure you're not tempted to intervene? <sighs> you labor under the misapprehension that vanquishing the Sin Eaters is tantamount to saving the world. It is not. In truth, you only delay the inevitable, lengthening your fleeting lives by the smallest of margins. T'would be churlish of me to deny you this small concession, close as we've become. Foolish and misguided though you are, you are not without charm. Each and every one of you is possessed of a noble heart. When the weak want for succor, you do not hesitate to provide it. Alas, your nobility is short-sighted. You think only of the problem in front of your nose. A limitation of your ephemeral existence. Our lives may seem short and insignificant to the likes of you, but one does not need to be an eternal being to achieve lasting change. Uh, if I may stop you there, I do not claim that we Asians are special. That is another misconception. In the beginning, everyone, everyone lived nigh for eternity. Such was the natural order of things. But like so much else, this was taken from you. You won't object if I borrow your plaything. In the distant past, when the world was one and whole, a great calamity threatened all life. It began without warning, 
The very laws of the star were warped and broken, and chaos swiftly spread throughout the land. Faced with annihilation, we sought to imbue the star with its own will. Thus was Zodiac born, and by his power was order restored. Ere long, however, thankless fools began to fear that Zodiac's might was too great, and so they conjured another to keep him in check, your own dear Hyde. And the two beings waged war until, with a single devastating blow, Hydaelyn unmade Zodiac, scattering his being across space and time. So you told us in the Katana Ravel. Yes, yes. And there began our woes, with Hydaelyn's blow and all that it wrought. As a counterbalance to Zodiac, Hydaelyn was created with the power to enervate her foe. This singular ability strikes not at such banal things as flesh, but everything that defines the target, diluting its existence. For example, was she to strike you? Two individuals, identical in appearance yet reduced in all respects. Strength, intelligence, the soul itself. All is halved. Do you see? This self-same fate befell not only Zodiac, but the very star. Only three were fortunate enough to escape the Sundering. Me being one of them. When I beheld the shattered remnants of our home, I knew deepest despair. The inhabitants of these fourteen fragments were feeble, frail and foolish, oblivious to their imperfection, ignorant of their past. Malformed creatures thrashing blindly about. Pitiful, disturbing, depressing. So, we took it upon ourselves to rejoin the worlds. But in our eagerness and, I confess, our ignorance, we erred and made a useless void of the thirteenth. It was only afterwards that we discovered a connection twixt source and shard, a flow of energy that maintains elemental balance. And thus did we arrive at our time-honored modus operandi. From a purely Asian standpoint, it could be said that what you seek to do is only logical. But that would be to ignore the immeasurable destruction wrought with each rejoining. You have murdered millions, and this we cannot condone. By your fragmented existence, you continue to give rise to tragedies far crueler than any calamity. But yes, moral relativism and all that. Case in point, I do not consider you to be truly alive, ergo, I will not be guilty of murder if I kill you. Oh, don't look at me like that. You for whom I have only the highest expectations. A vaunted hero of the source, seven times rejoined.
Long have I awaited one who might brave a path of lesser tragedy. A resilient soul able to endure the necessary pain. I dare to hope that my wait is over. So, finish your task and slay the Light Warden. Make proof of your usefulness, and then we may speak again. Oh, no. Forgive me, my lord, but this could not wait. Speak freely, Captain. Our informant in Colusia sends word of unusual activity in Yulmor. It appears their forces are entrenching themselves at key points throughout the city, making ready for an attack by all indications. An intriguing use of resources. I rather doubt Lord Valthry is concerned for the safety of his citizens. You think he's harboring the Light Warden inside the city walls? Even if he does have some means of controlling the Sin Eaters, wouldn't that be a little risky? Risky or not, if there is even a chance the Warden is hiding there, we will need to act fast. The longer we wait, the better prepared the Yulmorans will be. Agreed. See to your preparations then and make for Colusia. God's willing, this hunt will be the last. Let us see it through to the end. We should begin by assembling in right. There we may assess the situation in Yulmor and decide how best to proceed. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was such an important cutscene that goes into the motivations of the Assians in Emic Selk. And not one to miss. Oh, no, he's still here. Oh, see? See, this would be a perfect time to talk to him. I'm telling you. Let him expand upon what he was just talking about. But alas, I have to go fight Volthry. Oh, oops. <laughs> I just noticed. In my, uh... <laughs> in my journal here, I still have the unfortunate... Where is it? The Princess and the Eggs. This was the Easter event. Alas, that is over, so... Sorry. Abandoned. It seems like I always pick up a a holiday event because I'm waiting for a trial and then never end up finishing it. Alfie, no. Oh, that scene again. Ah, there you are, Furious. The others have already gone ahead to recon reconnoitre Gate Town. We ought to follow shortly. It's been a while, has it not? Since the, since the two of us infiltrated Yulmore? Since we faced what Lord Varthry. I felt such fury as I had never felt before. His actions are unconscionable, of course, and any abhorrence I felt for him entirely justified. Yet mingled with my rage, there was something else. At first, I wasn't sure what it was, but in the course of our struggles, I found the answer. In Valthry's self-righteousness, in his absolute belief that he, and he alone, is the cure to the world's ills, I saw a reflection of myself, and it brought back the memories of my past follies flooding back. He is the vainglorious, ignorant fool I once was, and having shared in his affliction, I feel duty-bound to open his eyes to the truth. Whether he will accept it with the good grace I did is another question. You're right. What is it, Reen? Do you sense the Light Warden? I I'm not sure. The aura is different. Perhaps if we were a little closer. Tis time we were on our way in any case. Let us join our comrades in Gate Town. Furious, as a precaution, may I ask that you go first to ensure that the path is clear. The closer we are to Yulmore, the more I worry that Reen may be recognized. If you see any prying eyes along the way, pray, encourage their owners to look elsewhere. Hey, yeah, that's right. I'm back on that there dawn trail, baby. Welcome back, Dylan. Glad to have you. What the heck? Oh, 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 what? Why are we going this way? Hey, Nani? 
Isn't Yulmar the other way? Am I crazy? Indeed I am, yes. I have less congestion. It took me a whole week to get over that whole thing. Man, I felt terrible last week, and then on Monday, I think it was, last time I streamed. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> you hail the civilian, but he does not respond and continues his incoherent rabble. Uh-oh. Just gonna leave him there. Not help. On Monday, I thought I was feeling better, but, you know, the, uh, the lingering bits of the sickness. There's a lot of this little something caught in my throat, but not as bad. Lord Vothry, we hear! We obey! Ah! Oh, jeez! What the heck? Well, that's not good. <laughs> Too much meal! Whoa, whoa, spoilers, bro, spoilers! These guys not not having a good time. But yeah, dude, killed the light warden there in uh, Amarang, and I've decided that uh, what's that dungeon? Malika's well, not a very good dungeon, especially in comparison after Kitana Ravel. That one's way better. You four youth, long live Lord Valtry. Long live Lord Valtry. Euphoric youth. Holy moly. He's, as we say, feeling it. Well, I guess this is still technically a starter zone for Shadowbringers, so... All these guys are only level 70. <laughs> I can walk freely here. Knowing that I'm much better than them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a crowd here. Ah. Good of you to join us. I was debating whether to warn you, but it's too late now. I take it you notice the same behave the same what? I take it you notice the people behaving strangely along the path. It's more of the same here. Wow, how did I dyslexia that up? Your stolen and Alize are investigating as we speak. Let's wait and see what they have to say. Alright. Udonje. A feast of lies. That's incredible. Oh no. Oh. Strange. Passing strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. Curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? I sense a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city. But there's something different about it. Its light is impure. We need to get closer. So that one's Alfino. Well, unless you're triplets. Kaishia, what are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. You see, that informant who's been feeding secrets to the Crystarium. It's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I couldn't just leave. Not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. 
and whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so, an airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Forfree starts ranting and raving. It, you could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nut, shouting and screaming like someone had nicked his pie. Tis like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in our meringue. So, eventually, the yelling dies down, and then this hot, sticky wind comes blowing through. Now, that's when everyone went funny. Not everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfri after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see. This was among the town folks' food stores. Oh, that's just meal. You want dolls of stuff out. No, it it couldn't be. I, I know what it is. It's Sinita. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. So it is. In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. That Vorthri wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? It would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up Sin Eaters and feeding them to people, altering them mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back! There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable. An atrocity! These Sin Eaters... What if they are not simply rounded up? Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter, but none leave. Let us put an end to it. To this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vorthra's deeds are beyond justification. Beyond forgiveness. Evil. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there. And I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming. And they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. Mm -hmm. Well, don't mind if I do. You know, we don't go around tossing out the word evil left and right. When Afino says it, you know he means business. Oh, yeah! Solo duty? I'm so ready. <clears throat> When we step through the gates, we shall find not the place of hedonistic pleasure we remember, but a battlefield. If you are prepared for this, then let us sally forth. Let's go. Take down this atrocity. You know, these, uh, these solo duties are actually so cool, but for whatever reason, like, I can never remember them. Uh, I can feel it. A dark presence in my domain! 
Ah! It's them! The villains who would sow chaos in my perfect paradise! Keep them away from me! I command you! Keep them away! Walter does fantastic as a voice actor. Ooh, what the heck? He's sending out good vibes. No, bad vibes. Long live Lord Four Three. He would use his own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Valtry's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. As if we ever would. Press on with Alphano. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can. Hmm. That's very sweet of you. Ooh, why, why do they gotta move like that? Bring it on. I mean, we're, we're like, you know, battle-hardened warriors. These people are basically starving. There's no way they're gonna be able to take us. Do no more than is necessary to subdue the civilians. Gonna sneak on over this way. One, four, three. Yeah. We're wasting time. Reen, we hold them here while the others press on. Uh, all right. I'm gonna do my best to read all the little things that pop up. Going somewhere. Have care, you two. The rest of you, with me. Their minds are not their own, remember. Avoid harming them wherever possible. Well, <laughs> they shouldn't stand in my way. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll do my best. Just for you. They don't stop. It's never ending. I fear. There's no end to them. We on Jay. Would you care to make a stand? Gladly. Furious, pray press on with the others when the opportunity doth arise. The way's clear. Come on, you two. Oh, Peloton doesn't work. Lame. Confound it. More of them. You're almost through. Die joke, come on. <laughs> like, you think they're gonna pose a threat to me? The warrior of light slash darkness? No, no. Right. It's my turn to make a stand. As soon as there's a lull, push on. Right about now! Now, Furious, into the tower. Just you take care, Arise. The Chester's from before. Ooh, okay. Apologies, friends, but you've reached a dead end. And on this track, there's no turning back. We have a good life here, see? And we're not about to lose it. But fair's fair. We'll give you... a uh, good death. If you would fight us of your own volition, then we will not hold back. Um, are we on the same person here, Alkino? Let's make sure we're focused. This one's a real side splitter. But at least you'll die laughing. I'll break your funny home. No! Ah, I should probably put on some dots, huh? All right, all right. We'll play this correctly. Do 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 do. Impalement arts. I you know if you would not stand in the middle of that, that'd be kind of cool, you know? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> is that really what she sounds like? You think this is funny? Fire hearts. You're weak. Huh. 
Juggler's Jape. Didn't even tickle. Let us climb to the canopy. From there, we will take the crown lift. Okay, we took on the Jesters. This must mean I'm gonna have my final showdown with Ranjit. Not oh, great. Still more soldiers? Leave them to me and press on. Oh, really? Okay, okay, good luck. I really am gonna have my final showdown with Ranjit, huh? Put this guy in the dirt. Wait, what about Dahlia? Dahlia Chai? And the other guy? Holy. You will find my master in his chamber. But only should you kill me this day, and you will not. Why do you go so far? You're one of his puppets too. Honestly. You may think me under his spell, but I uphold Lord Vorthry's ideals of my own volition. Man is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he but sows the seeds of future conflict. Thus, have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men, upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience. <gasps> but enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. Come, let us settle this once and for all. Alright, he chose the Reaper class before it was cool, yes. But, they didn't have all the abilities mapped out then, so sorry, Ranjit. You messed up, kiddo. Oh, man, if I, if I was a Reaper, I'd put this guy in the dirt. Ever since I submitted to my master's authority, I have been naught but a weapon. Actually, what is the Reaper stance? <laughs> Is it, is it cooler or less cool than how he stands? I don't remember, honestly. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not that cool. Merciless right. Alright, I saw you got beat up by Thancred, so obviously you're gonna just absolutely get wrecked by me. Hey, buddy. Stand right behind you. You feel my presence? Oh jeez, oops, let my dots fall off. Embarrassing. Oh yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I exist only to destroy, and destroy you I will. Hopefully something cool happens, because this is way less cinematic than when I fought him with Sankrit. Nexus of Thunder. Living Flame. Oh no, Crombo! I agree. Maybe cool if you could like switch between the two stances. You know? That'd be pretty neat. What the heck is going on here? Alright, okay, okay. Obviously don't touch them. Maybe kill one. Electrocution! Not today. It is time we settled this villain. Shattered Sky. Should probably troubadour, but. 
Okay, don't do that again. I don't like that. Nexus of Thunder. Okay. That's probably gonna give me something. Unceremonious beheading. Yeah, I think, you know, Thancred is more your speed of an adversary. Hot Pursuit. Okay. Start from here. Merciless left. Boop. Boop. Got him. Living flame. You know, you could just stand over there the whole time. Get in close. He's gonna push me. How about there? Nope, right there. Then scoochy on over. Inside. Yeah. Man, if I had limit break, that'd be much better. If you would pass me, you will, must endure all that I've learned on the, the battlefield, for I am a weapon forged in the flames of what? What the heck is this? Hey, I saw you do this against Thancred. That wasn't very nice. Oh, is this in a rage? Oh, jeez. Okay, come on now. Oh, oops. Probably hit the uh, things, huh? <laughs> Hey, they didn't give me the option as Thankery to hit the serpent heads. That's kind of eels. Now, what are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, it's still in a rage. Yikes. Good time. Oh, we got lots of time. Cooldown's up. I'm get right in his face. Yeah, you see me putting you in the frickin' dirt right now, huh? 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 This is what you're dealing with. This is what happens when you try to fight the warrior of light slash darkness. Charge up your special move. I dare you. I dare you. Ah, oh, there you are. My precious girls. Oh no, he had daughters. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, yep, they gotta give him the sad backstory. Dang it. Are you all right, Furious? The citizens appear to have calmed down for the moment. I can only assume Vothri is otherwise engaged. Let's get to the upper level while we can. We're just gonna leave Ranji right there. Oh boy. Oh no. He is going ham. It's all about them sweet meat buns. Lord Vorthry! Your reign of tyranny is at an end! For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused! And if you harbor even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man. Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? 
There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Unseated? No, 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 no. It's impossible. Inconceivable. Absurd. I am a great and wise king. Greatest and wisest. I reign from on high. I will not be brought low by maggots like you! Ah! Oh, yes. Of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. Oh, God, no, stop him. Thank Chris, stop him. Where did he go? In the heavens? Did Vorthree do that? We must give chase. How will we get up there? No. Nah. <laughs> About being assertive. Wait. That is Mount Gorg, the highest peak in Calusia. It lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, there are people here who need our help. Oh, Alpha, no. Please, even if it's only to tend to their wounds. I'll help too. You don't need my permission. Be quick about it! <laughs> you know, I won't, I won't be that mean. Thank you. I don't know if it will work, but if Vorthri's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. Well then, if it's decided, let's all get to work.
Yay, side quest time. Take one last look at it. I'm coming for you. Oh, Alfino, how much you've grown. Now, you know what uh, Valtteri reminds me of? A bug's life? That caterpillar at the very end where he sprouts his wings? That's what he reminds me of. Thancred! Good news, Furious. It would seem that Reen is indeed able to reverse the effects of Valtteri's influence. Even as we speak, she tends to the afflicted in turn. The problem being, there's no end to them. We're trying to provide what relief we can to those who are waiting, and would appreciate your help if you're willing. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Oh, am I stuck in a cutscene? Oh. You can now attune to the Aetherite in Yulmore at last! Please let me touch this crystal. Beautiful, that's it. Beautiful butterfly. Touch. Yes. <laughs> Maybe now I can find uh, my friend the Chai's. Some Chai tea lattes. Paradise Fallen. So, here was some dream powder. We're administering it to the enthralled to keep them calm until they can receive proper attention. I would appreciate if you could assist with this task. Now, those affected are scattered all over the city. I suggest starting your search at the derelicts. Der yep, derelicts and working your way up. When you are done, be sure to let Reen know. Mm, Alright. Love it. Gotta love it! The Thanker's right. You gotta help the people when you can. Anybody hurt here? Oh, this guy is not looking good at all. Oh, Lord Vathri, you are my daily meal. Uh, here you go, buddy. Nice. No, they just they just go to sleep. All right. Okay, cool. Okay. Ito, next, 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 next. The main stair. Let's see these people. Have a nice little nappy. Amiable. Ah, it hurts. Please, Lord Vothry, take away the pain. You're the kind soul who saved me from falling to my death. Oh, hey, I know you. My, my, my mistress. She's been injured. Please help her. I beg you. Yeah, don't worry about you. That was a long time ago. Well, well, what is this? Whoa. She's sleeping. A medicine to help her rest while she awaits treatment, you say. Oh, thank you so much. And she began acting strangely, I didn't know what to do. I got you, friend. Save your life once, now save her life. Let it be known you owe me. Okay. Who needs help? Free citizen. Do I know you? Let's see. Must stop trespassers sullying our paradise. Nah, nah, nah. <gasps> Take a nap. Where do you fly to, my sweet canary? Oh, it's this guy. I know you. It's the person who let go that uh, one lady who unfortunately lost her voice and ended up having to die or something like that. I did it, Reen. Praise me. Oh, there you are, Furious. I've just finished aiding this man. Now for the next one. More out in the derelicts and below, you say? So many of them. But Minvidia entrusted this power to me. I won't rest until I've helped everyone. I can bring the enthrall to you. I'll go and see to the wounded. Oh, jeez. Which one? Honestly, none of those sound great. Uh, I'll go see to the wounded. I'm sure Alfino and Alize would appreciate the help. And should you find other enthralled civilians, please see that they are brought to me. Alright, I'll do what I can. Exactly, yeah. I don't think it was it. Was it explained? Did she get turned into a sin eater? Sin eater? Was she set quote unquote free? I don't remember actually. You're going to be alright. I think that's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. 
As for the rest... to us? Let me handle this. Citizens of Yulmore, what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Vortri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. Go off, King. Tell him all about it. Spit them facts. Let that man cook. They're not taking it well. And who could blame them? Are you saying we were Vorthry's puppets all this time? When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Vorthra's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. It is not for me to judge you, but for your victims, for history, for your conscience. You have dreamed a twisted dream, but now you are awake. You may yet share this world of ours, Join with us and each other that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. I have said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vorthri. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring this to our senses, and I for one hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. Vorthri has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. Do any of you know the way? The only way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? Well, the ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos, if that's any help. 
but good luck repairing that. Talos? D did someone say Talos? You know all about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you. Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks, foremost makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoreng. <laughs> it's... well, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. You... you can't. No, that, that, that's not what I... It's just... Uh... All right. I will take a look at the Talos. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn thing out of the storehouse. Well done, brother. Come, my friend. We have work to do. Oh, <laughs> Alfredo, you grow up so fast. Look at you being a leader again. Yeah, I completely agree. Just as they were having that little exchange with the Chai's, I'm like, man, this is like the best type of uh, pairing. You have the man who's just completely smitten with his partner, you know what I mean? But yeah, well, I can't exactly say they're, they have no fault in all the stuff that's going on here. Alfino, the ladder. <clears throat> the ladder. The ladder is situated to the north and west of right. Let us make our way there, Ferris. Oh, ooh. someone is uh, ready to get going, huh? See how fast he sprinted out of there? To right! Ding, ding, ding. Oh, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Oh, don't tell me I gotta do these again. Two from Calusia, no. Okay, so, yeah, there's two more blue quests. Oops, what did I take out? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's good. <laughs> But it definitely uh, keeps the game a little more interesting for me, at the very least. I don't know if this is... I'm pretty sure it's not an Ether Current quest. If it was, I feel like I would have already done it. But let's double check just in case. Euless. Hello. It is not, therefore... Sorry. I'm not going to worry about your problems. <laughs> Yeah, the thing about, what I, at least what I feel, when it comes to accents, you just gotta own it. Like, it can be awful, but if you if you speak like you have the confidence that you're 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 hitting the mark, then you know what? People aren't gonna question it. Oh yeah, I, I know. Yeah, with the the, the currents, they're gonna get crazy in Endwalker. No, when I, I first started playing way back, when Shadowbringers was um was like current and that's before they did the revamp of changing all the ether currents in the older stuff even stormblood the stormblood ether currents were awful furious <clears throat> dost thou see yonder pair of talos where yes for a blessing they were found to be in good repair master chai prepareth to activate them as we speak with our arcane knowledge Shishto and i will serve as his assistants at the appointed hour we shall imbue the golems with ether Others, meanwhile, attend to the ladder itself, which hath too long lain neglected. Extensive maintenance will be needed ere it can move again, as well as myriad materials with which to perform it. If thou art willing, we would prevail upon thee to procure lumber. Oh, goodness. <laughs> My thanks, Furious. Directly to the south, thou wilt, thou wilt find a dry dock, Vermont Yards. Pray, 
see if thou, thou canst persuade the folk there to part with some lumber for our cause. I would hope they would do that. I mean, it'd be pretty difficult to see literally a uh, winged Vothri just sprout out and leave Yulmar. They're probably like, what is going on? If we tell them that, hey, he's a Sin Eater, we need to get up the, the ladder, they'd be like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, good times. Good times, right? The old school eat the currents. Man, peak gameplay when you're just frustrated. <laughs> you have to look up <laughs> like the best way to access or find them all. Yeah, and they're on peaks and over mountains. Ah, good times. And by good, I mean terrible times. <laughs> Irvith. Oh, there, sinner. Haven't, haven't seen you around before. New to Gate Town, I take it. If you need lumber for a shack, you've come to the right place. We can do the building for you too. Well, that'll cost extra. You, you want lumber to restore the ladder? Why in the world would anyone want to do that? If you don't have the coin, the least you can do is come up with a believable excuse. But look, I'm not one to turn folk away. I'll give you your lumber if you do me a favor in return. Ah, great. I just finished taking stock of our supply. I was about to do another round for good measure. I want you to do the counting instead, and we'll see if your total matches mine. Now, some of the lumber is lined about the yard, but most of it is kept in the storehouse. For these, you can just ask Grithel for the number. Here, I'll lend you some writing material so you can take notes. Thanks, buddy. Take stock of the supply of lumber at the shipyard. What you learn can be reviewed in your key items. Oh my gosh, I have to actually, like, think? Oh no! All things considered, they're a pretty simple task, but like, bro. Oh, oof, going into a cutscene even? Eh, they can stalk for everything, are you? Well, last stock counted, we had 68 planks in the storehouse here. 68. None of those were rotted, though. None of those were rotted through, though, so we tossed them out. 68 minus 9 is 59? Another. Oi, Grithel, the load's just arrived. 13 planks all told, but one's damaged. Only It's only good for kindling now. 13 is 12, plus 59 is... 59 plus 10 is 69, plus 2, 71. Right then, bring the good ones here. We'll be sure to let Irvith know as well. 71, 71, 71. Hmm. So, uh, how many planks does that make now? 71, baby. Yeah, uh, you're writing down those numbers anyway, right? I'm sure you can work it out. Who needs writing? You jot down the detail. Oh, okay, he's gonna do it for me. Who needs writing when you got giant brain? Giga brain, mega mind over here. What else am I doing? Okay, 79 plus slumber stack. Do I have to individually count those, or is he gonna tell me? Wait, no, 71, excuse me. 71 plus 11, 71 plus 10 is 81, plus 1 is 82. Quick maths. 82 plus... Where's the other stack? Another stack? Over here? Hello? No? Up top, maybe? 82 plus this one here is... <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who designed the quest, okay? <laughs> 82, 24, okay, 82 plus 20 is 102, plus 4, 106. Alright. Watch this. Erebeth. Done, are you? How many planks did you count? 100, 106, there it is, look at that, I didn't even check. I. that's exactly what I counted. Thanks for your help, friend. Taking stock fair puts me to sleep, but it has to be done. As promised, I'll give you your lumber. What do you need it for anyway? I already told you. I think I'm lying? You, you're serious about the ladder? I'll be damned. If that's the case, please, let us help with the work. We're shipwrights with no ships to build, only shacks. While it's a living, we all itch to do something... <clears throat> greater. The fellow you say is in charge. You reckon he'd mind the likes of us barging in on this project? 
If you don't mind, he'd welcome the help. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll round up the lads and lasses and we'll head over to the ladder, along with all the lumber you need. Nice. You know what people are always uh, saying, why do I learn maths in school? This. This quest right here is why you learn maths in school. Otherwise, oof, you'd be stuck on this quest for ages, I tell you. So go to math class. Learn your numbers. <laughs> Did they give you a mount speed boost at all? I thought they did that uh, after the first part you hang out in Amarang and Calusia. I still feel like I'm super slow. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> ah, thou art returned. Wert thou able to procure the number? Yes, Grand J. I got him. Well, well. To secure not only the material, but the eager cooperation of the shipwrights besides, their expertise shall greatly avail our efforts. Master Chai's own efforts have been not been without struggle, but he hath proven himself to be a determined soul. I doubt not, I doubt not, but that the work shall be completed ere long. We may continue on our way once more. Though it hath been years in the making, at long last the people stand united in defiance of the world's fate, their hopes spurring us ever onward towards journey's end. Whatsoever may await us when thou takest those final steps, I pray that it shall be with a smile upon thy face. What a weird thing to say, Ranjay. What do we do? The view from above. Love it. Ah, but prematurely do I give myself to sentimental musings. Many more pressing concerns demand our attention, not the least of which is the matter of how we might reach the mountain, detached from the land as it is. For the present, it would appear we have matters here well in hand. Perhaps thou shouldst take thine ease for a time. Thou, excuse me, thou wilt need every ounce of thy strength for the trials ahead. You telling me to rest? Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Leave it all up to you guys. I'll chill over here by myself. Like the burden I am. Now, okay, so you have to finish the whole MSQ zone. Gosh dang it. That's fine. I usually try to do all the ether current stuff so that I get flying immediately at that point too, so. Anchor with a hammer? Nice. Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulemore engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? Do you know the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one steel favored by Garlemald. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones, a difficult feat to achieve. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment, take it. vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time, fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine. 
Back when the world was whole, we had family, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarant. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that she would remember any of this. Remember? Is the story going anywhere? Jeez! The salt. Here we go. Never mind. The point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. A complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Ah, think? there was one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cowl? What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. Oh, I knew you could do it, dearest. I never doubted you for a moment. It's alive. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. But solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett Selk. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that, especially not eternity. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. That's the spirit. Come on, then. Who knew Alize had the jokes in her? We rode the ladder, too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow. 
and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Remembers our journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek and you may yet find. Oh boy. As I gotta say, obviously it's a very touching moment, beautiful and everything. But aren't I the only one that can see Ardbert? So when I got on the elevator, I'm like waving him on, no one else approaches, and I look over like, hey, good to have you here, you know, haha. Would anyone think that we kind of weird? <laughs> or am I crazy? And here we finally are, at top rung. The others should arrive here long. Alvino, Furious! Come up here, there's something I need you to see. What could this be about? Gosh. Climbing up the steps. Okay. <laughs> They're like, huh? You know, this guy's crazy. Probably wave it off because I am indeed the. W what the? Oh, uh oh. Like a wrong turn. There you guys are. Why did you go in the middle? Come on now. How did I? There's a village, Furious. Over to the northeast. So there is. Yet after two decades without the ladder in operation, I would not be surprised if such an isolated settlement had long since been abandoned. Nor I. But that was before I spied someone leave it and proceed ahead in our direction, all the while trying to remain unseen. Whoever this mysterious person is, they should still be out there. Go on and take a look, Furious. Alright. Search your surroundings for the mysterious person. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target the figure and inspect them. A slash right trigger. Where are you? I'm trying to skulk about. Oh, I see you. How dare you? How dare you spy on me? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! The creature stares at you unflinchingly. This probably isn't the mysterious person now as they saw. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't 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 mean to. Me to. Oh, there you are. There you are. I saw you from afar. Mysterious person. Oh, runs away. You have located the mysterious person. However, it seems he has likewise spotted you and hurriedly turns to back toward the village. Oh, did they miss more Easter eggs or was it just the shoe bill? There's probably more. I know in Endwalker there's a bunch of those too. Oops. Oh, oh geez, make this. There's someone, right? And they were spying on us. Personally, I don't feel comfortable not knowing who they are. What do you say we investigate? I'm curious too, I must admit. And I dare say we've had a bit, bit of time ere the others ascend. It's settled then. Let's head to the village and see if it's indeed inhabited. Please, no rest for the weird. I guess I was just taking a rest. Ah! Oh, lame. <laughs> really? Oh man, <laughs> I messed up. Should have done that. Dang it. Am I dumb? Is that much? But I want to go to the etherite. Wah! Yeah, that is definitely a defective Talos if it thinks it can tangle with me.
Oh. Okay, this must be the- I rem Okay, one thing I specifically remember about this section of Shadowbringers is they just have the- the hype song. I think it is this song. And repeat until you finish the section. And nothing takes it out. Just kidding. Maybe it's not this part. Or... I remembered it incorrectly. But I really like the, the hype song. Until I got to that part where I'm just like, oh please make it stop. You hear faint sounds from inside the building. However, the door refuses to budge. <laughs> it's freaking song. <laughs> Dried victuals. Some sausages. Food has been hung out to dry in the sun and quite recently by a reckoning. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, the same thing in Endwalker. Inside the building, eh? Half empty cup. Someone's been drinking in here. The cups are half empty or half full, depending on how you see such things. Behind the counter, a kettle bubbles steadily over the stove. Someone should probably turn that off. Oh, where I got this? Just kidding. There's no knobs. I may be good at math, but I can't figure out household appliances. <laughs> What news, Farius? Were you able to find anything of note? People are definitely still living here. I couldn't find our mysterious person. Maybe this place really is abandoned. Couldn't find our mysterious person. Nor I. For while there's no one to be seen, tis plain that this village is anything but abandoned. If the villagers are trying to conceal themselves, they're doing a rather poor job of it. If they don't wish to be seen, what are we to do? We blow it up. I say, aren't you the ones who? Uh, I say, aren't you the ones who saved my life? I'll be a good person. Let's see. Oops. Oh, Tristel, the artist from Yulmore. Oh yeah, you remembered. Ever since we parted ways, I've worried for you, bound for the city as you were. Never did I imagine that we would meet again, and here of all places. We could say the very same thing about you, my friend. I'm glad to see you hale and, hale and whole. But tell me, what is this village? This is Amity. A settlement made up of those who survived being exiled from Yulmore. Oh, that's good. As I wandered the wilds, I chanced to cross paths with an inhabitant of these parts. He took me through a secret tunnel which led to the top of the Bright Cliff. I've been here ever since. Life is hard, but we know a semblance of peace. Well, we did, at any rate, until Mount Golg broke away from the Earth. Then, just as suddenly, the ladder started moving again. And you feared whoever was coming up would threaten your lives. Aye, but I see now there's no cause for concern. Can you tell me what has brought you here? Hmm. So far three is a sin eater. He's fled to Mount Kolg. It is a strange tale, but I have no reason to doubt your words. I owe you my life. If there's anything I can do to help, you need but say the word. Your help will be most welcome, Tristel. To begin with, we request your people's permission to reconnoitre the area. If we are to confront Vothri, we must find a way to reach Mount Kolg. Of course. You hardly need our permission to be here. I will tell the others about you and yours. Now, we haven't much to offer in the way of hospitality, but our village is at your disposal. Please use it as you see fit in your quest. The view from above complete! <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I had to come up with something, some noise, <laughs> for when Furious opens his mouth, and uh, that's what I've settled on for now. Let's see, where are we? In Mount Golg's shadow. Okay. So, uh, maybe, maybe one more. In Mount Golg's shadow. <clears throat> Yet another helpless, hapless soul that Alfino saved from mortal danger, I see. Some things never change. At any rate, it seems that brother has a mind to linger. Meanwhile, I have a mind for us to explore. Furious and I are going to scout out the area. We'll be back in a while. Well, thank you so much, Terra. Have a good time. Oh. Very well, then. Just take care out there. 
All right. Exploring time. Scree. Oh, yep. Here we go. Get hyped, everyone. That time of day. The path diverges. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. I'll go east if you'll be, be so kind as to head west. We can aim to meet at the foot of the mountain, taking note of what we see along the way. In a short while, then. Bye, Alize. Oh, am I headed toward that village up there? Let me touch an etherite. That would be awesome. I'd feel more comfortable if I have a place to teleport up here. Uh oh, purple smoke. Mm. Who dares fight me up here? Tender love. Sorry, I don't want your love. Not on this day. Ish. Oh. <laughs> but the etherite is that way. <laughs> two, two, count them, two cinders. <laughs> I really should, at least for this section, huh? That's okay. If the developers want us to suffer, we shall. It's gonna be made doubly worse for you guys that are actually like watching my stream, because I have a really bad habit of humming the music. So it's like, you have the music, which is obviously like orchestrated wonderfully, and then just me, a half second later, due to lag and everything, humming the same thing, slightly out of tune. <laughs> huh, I never really thought about that, actually. Yeah, where are all the seniors? They're just scared, you know? They're hibernating. <laughs> Why don't you beat me up here? Oh, that's seen. That is menacing. You're a sight for sore eyes. I don't know about you, but I bumped into quite a few sin eaters out there. I was drinking. You inside. too, then. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gulg, the more of them there are. Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. And judging by the number we've already faced, his Lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. Ishtola is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice after all. There you are. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. Hmm. Berianger. And you too, Exarch. What brings you here? I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. I arrived at Bottom Run too late to accompany you, 
but I was in time to join Urianger and the others. Come, let us see how this unfolds. seems flying is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. Ah, oh, so that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. It would seem our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Master Alphano waiteth for us atop run. Thither should we make our way. Making our way. Had to run that little experiment there. Back to top rung, and I have to walk. Yay! It's okay. Soon. Don't you dare, Calx. You know what? I want to make a detour. I'm going to end up there anyways. Leave me alone. I just, I just want a teleportation. Just, just a bit. I just want to touch your crystal. Don't mind if I touch just crystal, will you? Oh. Sorry to intrude. Excuse me. Just want to touch your ether right here. Oh, that is a sick mount. Oh, what? I want to fly like an umbrella. Very poppin style. Mm -hmm. Got my ether right. Now we talk to Alfie now. Oh, just kidding. We speak with Alize. Now I think we'll probably do it. Finally made it up here. Ready to conquer Calusia. <laughs> Stay facing that way. Don't you dare turn around. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, crud. Southeast? Southeast? Oh, maybe over here. I can swear I already got the ones down in the lower end, so. What do you want to listen? Probably keep track of this, yeet. Two more. Two more? Oh, no. <clears throat> hmm. I didn't expect to see the chais here. Well, I suppose it's well within their rights. At any rate, it's time to tackle our next obstacle, finding a way to reach Mount Golg. For this, we'll need to put all our heads together. Aha! We got the whole squad here, and the chais. Next one is a gigantic undertaking. Nice. Hold on, let me, let me fit myself in this circle. Right here. Nice. There we go. So, I made it up the top rung of Calusia. I beat Amarang, now I'm just on the hunt for Vothri, that caterpillar looking guy. That being said, I think this is a good point to go ahead and stop for today, it's uh, two and a half hours, perfect, yeah. But thank you so much everybody who decided to hang out with me in chat, it makes it makes streaming and just playing this game infinitely more fun when I'm not just talking to myself. So Xenos, amazing, thank you so much for the commentary. Tara, thank you so much, I know you're not here anymore, but I really appreciate you being active. And then Dylan as well, earlier, it's a good time. This is On the Dawn Trail, episode 55, making our way. Almost finished with, well, I won't say almost finished with Shadowbringer, but just about finished with Shadowbringer. To wherever you may be, good morning, good night, and everything in between. Two months, yep, in two months, baby, let's go! Woo! Until next time, everyone, see ya!